Right, I'm still poorly. I've thought it's probably best at the moment not to go out, so I'm still sort of tied to the house. But if nothing else, I think it's maybe given me the time to sit back and deal with a few things that constantly keep cropping up. As I'm sure you'll appreciate, I get a lot of questions in the comments section and among other things it's questions about gear that i'm wearing or gear that i'm using what is it where did i get it from that kind of thing basically everything you see me using or wearing i have done a review on it at some stage but obviously you know there's well over 300 videos on this channel now and i appreciate that some people especially newcomers to the channel won't have seen them other questions that I get asked are how am I getting on with things, how are things wearing in use? Which actually I think is a really good question because it's okay showing you something while it's shiny and new. But a lot of the items that I review are quite expensive and people do want to know how they stand the test of time. Now my Bell Custom 500 helmet and Halcyon Mark 49 goggles are sort of my trademark look. And I probably get more question about those two items and my Union Jack bandana than anything else. So I thought today I'd have a look at the Mark 49s. These goggles are a piece of motorcycle and aviation history. And the lineage can be dated back to before the First World War. I actually have three pairs, but the pair that I wear day to day, almost all of the time, are the black and chrome version. I do have a full faced helmet, but I never wear it. I think once I'd experienced the freedom of an open faced helmet and a pair of goggles, it was one of those situations where I'll, I'll never go back. Now, I couldn't actually tell yet how many miles I've done wearing these goggles, but it will run into the thousands of miles. And although initially, you know, especially if you've been used to a full-faced helmet, the sensation does feel a little bit odd. You soon get used to it, and they are extremely comfortable. The art to these goggles is a little bit counterintuitive. When I very first started wearing them three years ago, I used to try and fasten them really tight to my face. But that quite simply doesn't work. And I soon discovered that the art to them is to have the strap fairly loose so that they're just resting against your face, not pressed against it. Even with very little pressure, the soft leather pads around the actual eyepieces themselves do keep any drafts out. And the great thing about having the straps loose like this is that it makes it really easy to slide the goggles over your eyes or up onto the helmet while you're moving with just one hand. They are just as convenient as a full face helmet with a visor. The actual lens frames are chrome plated brass proper chrome plated brass and they are just as good as the day I first got them. As you can appreciate over a three year period these goggles have been dropped, they've been hit with stone chips at high speed, they've also been the instrument of death for thousands of insects. Yet the high quality polycarbonate lenses are virtually scratch free, with any marks that might be there totally invisible when you're actually wearing the goggles. All the leather pieces and stitching are intact, nothing's come undone, and despite getting numerous soakings, the leather is perfect. One thing that has surprised me is that once you've adjusted the nose piece and the strap, you never need to touch them again. And although the strap is showing a little bit of wear and tear now, it hasn't lost its elasticity. And as with every other single component on these goggles, Halcyon Classic Parts are able to supply you with spares. Now to some extent, Halcyon Classic Parts can custom build a pair of these goggles to your specifications. With everything from a vintage tan and polished brass version through various different coloured leather options and you can even go for toughened glass lenses if that's what you prefer. Now one question that I do get asked quite a lot is whether you can wear spectacles under these 
I don't think you can, but Halcyon do do a prescription service where they can fit appropriate magnified lenses for you. Obviously this is an optional cost service. Now it's not very often that you'll hear me say this, but these goggles can actually stand up to quite a bit of neglect. But all that's required to bring them back to as new condition is just a standard proprietary visor and goggle cleaner. Now, unlike a lot of the cheaper or sort of pretend goggles out there, these do disassemble into individual components really easily. Either for a good thorough cleaning, or in order to replace worn or damaged parts. Now, although it is still perfectly serviceable, the only wear and tear I've found on these goggles so far is on the silicon beading on the strap which is actually considered to be a consumable item. Now, I did order a replacement strap in order to make this video so that I could show you, uh, you know, the changeover. Unfortunately, I left it a little bit too late and it didn't arrive on time for filming. But they're around about £15. Now, that might seem expensive, but it's lasted me over three years. And just thinking about the full face helmet that I own, during that three-year period, I would have had to change the visor at least twice, which would have cost me round about £70 altogether. So in actual fact, they're quite an economical item to use and wear. Disassembly for cleaning or for replacing the lens takes mere seconds. The same clip that holds the strap on also retains the lens. And despite the ease with which it can be removed, it's never come unfastened accidentally once in all the time I've used it. The lenses themselves do have their own sort of individual brass frames. A nice example of attention to detail that stops the clip or the inside of the main frames from damaging the lens. Five minutes with some lens cleaner and a soft cloth and these goggles always come back up as new. Now I have to admit I am sort of a fan of these particular goggles and it's always amazed me just how famous they are. They do seem to be the prop of choice for period drama and film. And I have noticed some very famous people wearing them over the years. Now, I know that some people won't wear open face helmets and they'll only wear full face helmets. And I fully understand it and I really don't want to get into a discussion about it in the comments section with this video. But for those of you that have a modern classic motorcycle, whether it be one of the Royal Enfield 650 Twins, a humble 500 Bullet, or any of the Triumph Bonneville range. If an open-faced helmet and goggles is the look you want to go for, I do believe that the classic Halcyon goggles are, without a doubt, the benchmark by which all goggles are compared. Yet surprisingly, are not the most expensive. These goggles are not just a stylish accessory. They are, in fact, a very practical piece of safety eyewear made as i've shown to a quality you very rarely see these days especially with motorcycle accessories a pair of quality goggles that epitomize a lost era where practicality and quality were king a best seller for well over half a century so in answer to the question that i'm often asked when those Halcyon goggles wear out, would you buy another pair? The answer is no, because short of a catastrophic accident, it's quite obvious to me that these goggles will never wear out, so I'll never need to buy another pair. Now, I will, of course, leave a link in the video description down below for these Halcyon goggles for anyone that's interested in having a look. Once again, thank you so much for watching this and my other videos and helping to support this channel. It does mean an awful lot to me. I'd also like to say a big thank you for all the Get Well Soon messages that I've had in the comments section this last week. Whatever I've got, it does seem to be lingering, but hopefully I'll be over the worst of it soon.
I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful and I hope that it's answered some questions for some of you that have been asking. If you have enjoyed it or found it useful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, please make sure that you hit the notification button so that you are informed whenever I upload a new video. I will of course be back next week, so until then, ride safely and I'll see you soon.